Hey folks, John Wilkerson here, host of the Jesus Geek Podcast, and I just wanted to take this time to update you on NoScript. I've had a video out there for a while that has given instructions on how to install NoScript and how to use it. And there have been some changes, some updates. The basics are still the same. However, I wanted to feature some of the uh, new things that are going into the into the script. So here we go. We are going to go through the process. Of course, you go to NoScript.net where you'll find this really cool logo here. And you click on the download button on the left. Click the Add to Firefox option. I'm not going to do that right now because it's installed already. But click Add to Firefox and it'll go through the add-on adding process that it does. And you'll restart Firefox and no script will be running. Now when it restarts, make sure you go over here to donate. Donate a few dollars to this great add-on because it really is very useful. Now right now, I have all my scripts turned on. I'm going to shrink my screen, my uh, browser here just a little bit so you can see that. So as you can see here, I have it's enabled and scripts are globally allowed. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to forbid scripts globally. Now that's how it comes configured. And there's a number of little quick options you can get to. If you're having trouble with uh, some kind of site, you just quickly allow scripts globally and go to that site and see what's happening. Uh, you can look at some of the recently blocked sites. You can forbid add-ons from Mozilla, forbid Google syndication, uh, forbid no script. So these are all the all, all the sites that it's showing up that are using scripts that you may want to forbid that are probably currently whitelisted. Speaking of whitelists, let's go over here to options. And again here you have a checkbox where you can temporarily allow top level sites by default and then uh, the uh, radio dials here for choosing whether it's a full address, full domains, or base second level domains. Uh, another option, of course, left clicking on NoScript toolbar button toggles permissions for current top level sites. And there's the uh, shortcut key for that. Again, what's it going to toggle? And then a number of other options available. You, of course, have the whitelist sites that you want to whitelist. Uh, maybe you want to whitelist Facebook. And so you type in Facebook.com and you click Allow. Embeddings, of course, you can forbid Java, Flash, Silphalite. I mean, there's just so much that's available to you. You can, of course, change the appearance. That's up to you. I like the way it is configured normally. Notifications, whether or not it's going to tell you what's been blocked. And, of course, a number of advanced settings that you can go through. Now, this is a lot of detail, and unfortunately, this video is not going to go into that detail. I don't really use NoScript to the level of doing all this. I kind of just, I take the defaults and really just, you know, allow sites that I want to allow scripting on. And so then that, that works for me may not necessarily work for everyone else. You can import and export your settings. So if you're moving from uh, one machine to another, or if you have a portable version of Firefox that you want to take around with you on a USB drive, you can export your settings and then import those onto your portable version or onto a number of machines, let's say, in an office environment. Uh, there's a little export dialog there. OK, well, that just about sums it up. Uh, no script, great tool, great add-on for Firefox. Don't forget to donate. And remember that this was brought to you by JesusGeek.info. See, look at that. It's working. See there? So if you'd like to see more videos like this or hear a podcast about technology, check out JesusGeek.info.